So the world's large intact landscapes are incredibly important for biodiversity. They're the last strongholds for the great megafauna that we find around the world. Species like tiger, lion, elephants need large intact spaces to live. Not only are they important for wildlife, they're incredibly important for people. A lot of indigenous communities around the world rely on large intact landscapes and seascapes to maintain their ways of life. So our study shows something dramatic. Since the Convention for Biological Diversity was signed in 1992, one tenth of all wilderness around the planet has disappeared. Somewhat incredibly, 30% of the Amazon has disappeared in just that short period. 15% of Central Africa has also become degraded and not classified as wilderness anymore. Another major finding of our study is that our opportunities for wilderness conservation are becoming increasingly limited. There's only 25% of the world's wilderness left, but most of this is found in the Arctic tundra, the world's deserts, and the boreal forests. There are still opportunities for wilderness conservation in some of the most biodiverse areas like the Amazon rainforest. However, these places are being rapidly degraded. If we look at the remaining biomes, we can see that there's very little wilderness left and some of them like temperate forests and mangroves, there's almost no opportunity for wilderness conservation. These last remaining wildernesses are conservation priorities and need to be protected before that opportunity is lost forever. These places are the last strongholds for endangered biodiversity. They are incredibly important for local people. They're incredibly important for climate change and regulating local climate regimes. The world must recognise the value of these large, last remaining intact systems. Once we lose them, they never come back. So we've only got about 20% of wilderness left on the planet right now. If we don't act, that will slowly erode. By 2050, we predict there may be no wilderness left on the planet. How do you protect these areas? Well first, each nation on Earth which has some wilderness left in their, in their borders must proactively assign some form of protection to them. That can be quite easily done. That's through national legislation and also inside international agreements such as the Convention for Biological Diversity.